how do you extend the power for your uh, GX Touch 70 or 50 screen? Hi folks, I'm Roger from Wolfgrid, and in this episode we're going to be talking about extending this relatively short cable that you have with the Servo GX screen, the Touch 50 or the Touch 70. Uh, if I remember correctly, these are about 1.8 meters long. And it's very rare, very, very rare that we can mount the server screen close enough to the server GX base unit itself uh, and use this just as it is. Now, on our display unit here, that's what we have. So here's the GX Touch 70 screen with a cable coming out and it comes into the server GX here. And this is the standard uh, screen cable that has not been extended and that works that's for us that's absolutely fine because the distance is so short but when you are practically doing an install in a motorhome you're not going to be that lucky the chances are extremely high that you're going to need to extend the cable by at least five meters uh, the vast majority of time we extend it by seven and a half meters and sometimes by five, and if we're lucky, sometimes at much shorter distance, say three meters or so. So let's talk about the extending of this. Now we have done a video in the past that where we talk about the HDMI. I'll just quickly mention something that uh, we found is actually quite interesting. So this is a five meter HDMI, and uh, what you can see here, we're using micro HDMI to standard HDMI. So this is what we will plug into the Serbo GX, and this will be where the screen is, uh, this little plug here. But with that, you'll need some form of adapter. So this is a female micro HDMI to female HDMI. And that is what we use. We plug it into there, and then you can plug the screen into there. And this, this enables us to drill a much smaller hole than we would for full HDMI. As you can see, full HDMI, you need to drill around about a 20 mil hole to get that through. Whereas this, uh, we get away with around about a, I think a 10 or a 12 mil hole. So that's, that's far easier to get it through tight spaces between cables and that. So when you're doing this extension, one of your possibilities is to use your HDMI extender and a USB extender and have them the same length. And that does work. And I'll show you now. I'll plug this in. I'll, I'll just insert it into here. So let's unplug our power from there and uh, get it the right way around and plug this into here as you can see that does work and this is an eight meter extension as i recall uh, but we're fairly lucky in this particular case that this is not flickering and doing funny things. Quite often you'll find that uh, the screen doesn't actually behave itself that well and it flickers and sometimes it's not that responsive to your touch and that sort of thing. Just to uh, explain, this happens, the instability happens when your extension is particularly long. So in this case, this is an eight meter extension and it, it might be unstable. And in such cases, I'll explain why there's a different route that we take. But if you have a fairly short extension, then this is absolutely fine. This approach is fine. The problem with this approach, let me just unplug it here, is that you're going to be running two fairly thick cables. And again, your diameter of holes that you need to drill to run this through things has uh, become reasonably substantial. It's a far bigger plug that you have to run through things. Also, you're going to be running this one way and you're probably going to want to run this along because these two go together and that your diameter hole there is quite big. So this solution does work to have an HDMI extension, which you absolutely need, and a USB extension. But if, if your distance is particularly long or you're going through really tight spaces, there is actually a better solution that I'm going to show you now. And Basically, you're going to be running 12 volts. So USB extension is going to be running five volts and the voltage is pretty low and you'll get voltage drop running along there. If you're using 12 volts, you're going to get less drop and it's far friendlier to the devices. So this is two and a half mil cable and you can see it's very tight. Uh, there are no plugs that we're going to be pulling through. So 
basically to get these into tight spaces is really easy. We would generally just tape the black to the red and then tape this to a fish or whatever it is. And, and often we would actually just tape this alongside the HDMI extender, put them like that and tape them on there. Then we can pull the whole bundle through. That makes it really easy. And what we do, I bring you to here. I've got here is this demo here. I've got 12 volts, so we just connected it there with these connectors. 12 volts coming to this little USB device. So very simple elementary 12 volt in and 5 volts out with uh, two USB plugs. And we basically plug that in. And as you can see, the screen has come alive. We find this is very stable. We can run quite long distances on the 12 volt. And if the distance is, was too long uh, for two and a half, you can just increase that to say four mils or whatever, and uh, you wouldn't get much voltage drop. And uh, finally terminating with the little adapter here, and then the screen is quite happy. We find the screen responds quite nicely and no instability or anything like that. So this is, this is our preferred approach in the vast majority of cases where we need to extend the cable, which is almost every server GX installation we do, uh, we have one of these. So we run, as it's just a sort of a standard thing, we run the HDMI extension with the two and a half mil black and red. We You must fuse it. So as you can see, we've got a little spade fuse here. And uh, fusing anything, five amps would be fine. The, the screen draws very little current, so five amp fuse would be absolutely fine. So fuse it close to the battery and run that. Just use Wagos. These are sort of through Wagos that we've used here. Use any Wagos or whatever method of joining. And uh, you get two USBs at the server GX screen or the GX Touch 50 or 70 screen. That works really well. If you look in the description below, we got links to uh, everything that we use and that we need when we are doing a servo installation where we have to extend the, the cables to the screen. So we've got the the links to the our preferred HDMI extension uh, with a micro HDMI on one side and normal HDMI on the other. And we've got links to this particular adapter, 12 volt in, 5 volt to USB out. So check those links and hopefully that'll help you. And uh, hopefully that was useful. Get on with your installation or bring it to us. We're happy to do it for you. And we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers. Thank you.